joining me. Today I'm sharing what may be my very last Christmas card idea with you for 2021. Now, I'm not making any promises, there may be more coming, but I am slowing down on card ideas because I'm really excited to be starting a 12 days of DIY gift ideas with you. I did this last year and it was so popular to have fun little things you can make as inexpensive and really nice gifts for your friends and family. So if you need more Christmas card ideas, I will have kind of a roundup of simple card ideas coming here in a couple of days with lots of ideas. If you want more ideas, there are tons and tons on my website. Go to my website, scrappingstampingandstuff.com in the search bar, search for Christmas, and you will find tons of ideas. Now let's take a look at today's. It's really simple. It would be a great one for replicating. Let me show it to you. So here's today's card idea made with a peaceful cabin stamp set. I did use one of the dies in the die set as well, but this is just such a beautiful set, such a set with such detail, but I wanted to show you a really easy way to use it. And that's what we'll be doing with this card. What you will need to make this card, you'll need a five and a half by eight and a half early espresso card base folded in half. This piece will be for the inside. It's four by five and a quarter of white. We need another piece of white that measures three by five and one quarter and a piece of mossy meadow that measures three and one eighth by three by, I'm sorry, three and one eighth by five and three eighths. I also need a piece of ribbon to add that little knot of ribbon that I showed. So let's do our stamping first. And what I love about this card is giving the appearance that the cabin is in front of those trees without the time and detail involved with doing die cutting. So here is how we are going to do that. We're gonna lay that piece of cardstock down, the one for the front, and the first thing I want to do is stamp that cabin. So I have some early espresso ink here. I'll ink up my cabin stamp. Stamp that here, down a little bit to the left and a little bit closer to the bottom than to the top. And now I'll get my mossy meadow ink ready and my tree stamps. But what I want to do is bring in, and this one is a little messy because it's been used a few times already. This is a piece that I die cut with the one cabin die. I want to cut this die out on some copy paper is really the best thing some really thin paper and now i'm going to lay this over now if i want to i can use some washi tape or some kind of removable tape to tape that down but i find that i don't really need to saves a little bit of time and it saves some tape if i can get myself adjusted and now i'm just going to hold this in place we'll get this out of the way Hold this in place and start stamping trees. If you want to, you can do some stamping off like this. Stamp a second time and get some faded trees there in the background. That is totally up to you. And once you like the way it looks or think you like the way it looks, you can try to lift this up if you want to hold this in place in one spot and check to see what it looks like you can and i think that looks really nice so i'm going to shift this over now we'll line this back up and i will stamp my trees on the left side this is called masking masking is such a great way to create cards that have the appearance of lifelike uh, depth without spending a lot of time doing it. Okay, so there we go. There we have the cabin with the trees looking like they're behind the cabin. Now we will add a few little details. I'll bring my early espresso ink back, grab the little fence, stamp, and I like to stamp that to make it look like it's coming out here from the back of the cabin. You could put a fence over on the side as well if you wanted to. I love the little fox. 
So we'll put the little fox down here with these little stamps. You want to use very, very light pressure when you ink it and also when you stamp because otherwise you'll get a lot of extra ink around the edges and that may end up on your project. Same thing with a small for you stamp. Put this up here. And I think that's it for this piece for the front. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some sequins. You could add some Wink of Stella accents in the trees or something like that. But I like it, just keeping it really simple. Now, for the inside, you can just stamp your greeting if you want to. Or you can add some trees and a fence like I did here. It's always nice to have the inside of your card coordinating with the outside. And while you're at it, if you want to stamp your envelope, you can do that as well. Okay, so we have our stamping done. Now we just need to assemble this card. So I had, I had made this card at a stamp camp I hosted a while back. And... After it was over, I had some extra pieces that I wanted to go ahead and stamp and turn them into cards. So what I did, I just set everything out and I did all of my stamping at one time and then I lay everything out and I do all of my assembling at one time. So you, I was able to stamp and put together a lot of these in just a little bit of time. If you do your cutting first and then your assembly, these can really come together. So I hope you've gotten a lot of Christmas card ideas from me this year that you can use. Either use them as is or modify them a little bit to your liking and come up with something brand new and one of a kind. Though there is no shame at all in copying projects exactly. That's why people like me share our ideas so that you can copy and use them. Now this is a really nice Christmas card but it would really be nice for the winter months as well. Uh, a nice masculine card. I know for me sometimes it's hard to come up with masculine card ideas. I'm going to take my little piece of ribbon and just tie it in a knot here. But it would be a really great masculine card idea or a card for anybody for winter time. So trim my little edges off. If you have a hard time with bows, this is a perfect way to not have to worry about tying bows is to tie knots because they look really nice as well. And if you do need help tying bows, I have a really good video with some really helpful tips. I've been able to teach some brand new crafters how to tie a bow perfectly on their first try. So uh, I'll link to you to that video here if you want to take a look at it for some bow tying tips. So here we go, a really nice card that would be easy to replicate for Christmas made using this peaceful cabin bundle. So thanks for watching along. You can find links in the description below to all the products I used. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.